What's up, YouTube? So we're back again with another video, and this time we're gonna be trying out the chem tank build with all the new changes. So, um, we tried out Divine Sunder, we tried out Trinity Force, both with Conqueror setups, and honestly, both felt really nice. So now I want to see how it feels when you have a uh, when you have the current best setup, which is going Chain Sword into Chem Tank with uh, Man Immune. So we're gonna see if this is really that great. I don't think it would be that insane just because you don't need tier as much anymore. But we're gonna see what we do here. Alright, so this game again, probably gonna be pathing towards bot side, just abuse easily gankable bot lane. I'll be chilling with that. Alright, so in the last video, we managed to do a full clear from blue to red, and that took us 308, I'm pretty sure. So this time I want to see how long the full clear is if you're going from red to blue. Honestly, I think there's a chance it could be even lower than that. I just need to remember to max my W second and not my Q. Or my E, I mean. So now what we do is we just drag these two out. Bring them right here. So we can keep our Q stacks from Raptors. Or from Krugs to Raptors. Nice. So it's already 235 and we're at our blue buff almost usually you only get here like 250 so i think the clear is looking insanely good right now i'm gonna be honest with you all right so we managed to finish full clear at 308 not bad 308 full clear is actually insanely fast and i'll just use a potion and we'll go for an invade on this guy unless he's packing towards top side okay unless he's packing towards top so what we can do is we can just look for double scuttle then because he never cleared his top side, so he's going to be pathing there. So I'll just finish that scuttle with Q. And then we're going to walk mid. And the reason why we're doing this is to keep our Q stacks again. So I'm going to keep our Q stacks. And now I can just run at this scuttle. So the other cool thing about Hecarim's Q stacks nowadays is that they don't all instantly drop off. So even if you like miss your timing... You can still keep two Q stacks for the majority of your clears. And I will just run here and look for Udir. There we go. I'll probably just look for Gromp, and then after taking Gromp, we can go for a dive on the Samira as well. Should be really, really easy. So what I'll do is I'll just Q it here, smite it so I'm full HP, and then we just insta-kill her. Viego should be able to pick that up. Perfect. We'll help him just shove in top and that will be good. So now we'll just get a recall in and we'll build our uh, Ionian boots with tier. That res from W early game is busted. That's what I'm saying. Your clear feels so much healthier now. Like you literally don't even need health pots. It's, it's super, super crazy. Alright, so Samira should be shoving this wave in since it's so big. So what we'll do is we'll go Krugs into a top gank here. I should have Q stacks. Three Q stacks plus level 6 for this. So drag this out. Q it here. And now we keep Q stacks for the gank. Perfect. I can ult for if I need to, but I don't think I do. There we go. And now we just look for a transition gank mid and we'll be chilling. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our raptors. And then we'll do this. Keep Q-Sacks there. Zed uses his W. So we'll just go for the kill. So one of the things as well is now with the W changes, your W timing is really important, right? Because since you're getting resistances, you only want to use your W when you're actually taking damage. So that's why you don't want to like instantly W to start every fight. Alright. To be honest, I kind of just want to dive bot. I think that could be a really free play, free play for us. So we'll do this. Nice. Perfect. Wait, I'm maxing my E again. Fuck! Dude, I'm... <sighs> okay. I need to be reminded. It's fine. I need to put, like, a text on my screen that just says, like, max W second. Because I always forget. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll just look for a full clear into Rift Herald. 
Because at this point, our team is winning so hard that all we have to do is, like, play off objectives that we're showing. Actually, Udyr might look for Dragon. Okay, let's go for a kill. There he is. Alright, now we just get free kill on set. Perfect. Someone just walk here and take this. Wait, I put a point in E again. <laughs> Guys, you need to bear with me. Alright, so we'll just take Herald, and then after Herald, I'll probably just go for reset. I have enough gold for it. Unless I look for a mid gank if he tries this. Perfect. So what we'll do now is we'll look for red, and then after red, probably just like Herald top and try to end the game off that. Alrighty. <laughs> max W. Okay. When I get this wave top, I will max my W now. I'll stop putting points in E. Oh wait, never mind. I put a point in Q. <laughs> okay, on the next wave. Next level up. Oh wait, no, next level up is R. Okay, on the level up after 11, level 12. Perfect. I mean, with Chainsaw, they can't do anything to me. Oh my god, I have the Yumi on me now. It's like I'm the one with the Yumi. Yeah, we'll just hold minute we can probably look down the game. Doesn't look like the enemy team is playing it out. You know what? I'll just reset as soon as I can so I can get a chem tank. That way if they're surrendering, at least I can see how the build still feels. Alrighty. So now we just look to end. I mean, are they even going to leave base? Or are they just going to like sit there? Oh dear sir. Okay, let me just sack my Q guns minions. <laughs> it's like Udyr regrets leaving base now. He survived for a solid 30 seconds. Alrighty, well, that's the chem tank with chainsword build. Honestly, the early power spike felt pretty good, but the only thing is I wish I could feel uh, Man Moon again, because I want to like, I want to see how it feels when we would have had Man Moon completed. But the build feels nice, and Phase Rush still does feel kind of decent, but I think Conquer might feel better. With that being said, I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, sub if you haven't already, and I will see you all for the next video, which will be Assassin Hacker. Peace.